Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Drew Talks, and today we're gonna go over some controllers. Recently, I've been using the generic Xbox 360 wired controllers. They're fairly inexpensive, and they work for almost every system, including the Nintendo 64. You have a left and right thumb pad, you got shoulders, you got triggers. You can see here, that's the only downside to these, is that my wire shield actually ripped here. Um, other than that, these things are holding up really well. The controls themselves are good, and I mean, I have no really big complaints about it. I have heard that the PlayStation style controller is better. Um, we're gonna check that out. I have a uh, generic PlayStation controller here, and uh, we're gonna give this one a shot. And then I also have the classic Buffalo controller. And then I also have the Logitech version of this controller, which has a few more extra buttons on it. That's coming later in another video as well. So between these four controllers, one, two, three, and we're gonna get the Logitech version. We're gonna check them all out and tell you what we think. Now, the Buffalo controller, up first, this is brand new, never been opened, made in Japan. It works for Windows ME, 2000 XP Vista, Windows 10, Windows 8.1. You can see that they just threw these stickers on. I bet they have these things in inventory, and they're just like, well, we can, the USB works, though, USB works. So they probably had been manufacturing this, the same for a really long time and just slowly add all the windows as they upgrade. So it's a great controller. A lot of people buy these. I know that they're very popular for Retro Pi and the Raspberry Pi. Today for this review, we're gonna be using a Raspberry Pi 3 with a raised 128 gigabyte image. Now I think the biggest limiting factor on this controller here is that it doesn't have a thumb pad on it like these have. So for like MAME where you want like a joystick, it's not gonna be very good. However, I have to say, using this controller for Super Nintendo, you have to switch the A and B button, and you know the D-pad on this is not amazing because you have those you have those diagonals, which can mess you up. So, for example, on Tetris, I mess up a lot with these controllers. I'm curious to see if Tetris is better to play on these because you can't go into that diagonal motion as easily, or or if at all. So here we go, unboxing, never been opened. There is no seal, it seems like. You can just pull this up. There was no nothing actually sealing it shut. Okay, you do have a little instruction manual here, which is in Japanese, it looks like. Yes, that is correct. 100% Japanese instructions. Okay, so this is not gonna be much of a help for you. The controller itself, pop that out. Pop out the USB here. I imagine that just goes back to the plastic. Okay, and then this goes through this hole. All right, there we go. So you have your left, right, X, Y, B, A, X, Y, B, A. Left, right, up, down, left, right. Turbo clear button, select start. Now just at first, you know, the Super Nintendo is actually the first system my parents ever got me as a kid. We never had an NES. Our neighbors had one, but we never had one. And compared to this controller, I mean, you can tell this is meant for small hands. My big hands do not hold this very well. I feel like it'll come out of my hands really easily. But this is really, really good. I'm, I'm liking it. Oh, so this is actually made in China. So it looks like it's all in Japanese, but the actual controller itself was made in China. The USB cable itself is four or five feet long. It's not that long, but you could always get an extender to extend this out so you have a little bit more, um, more slack. Just get a USB extender, they're very cheap. So I just booted up Ray's image. I, all I did was I plugged this Buffalo in and it's already working stock. I can already go back and forth. Let's do uh, start, start works. A goes in, B goes back. But again, they're reversed on this controller versus the Xbox controller. So instead of A being here, and same with the PS3 and 4, uh, B is the first button. But they, they act the same way, which is A and B have been moved to the Super Nintendo setup on this controller stock. Um, let's play a game. Let's just jump right into a Super Nintendo game, if I can find it. What's a good Super Nintendo game? Mario, Super Mario. So select does work. Jump to a letter. 
And you can see it found the eight access configured complete. So looks good there. See, this is something about this game that the Xbox controller is not as good as uh, this controller is built for this game. Select still does that. Woo! So there you go. Works really well with Super Nintendo. Let's try it on a different other system. Start and select still works to exit the game. So let's try an Atari game, Alien. So Alien's working well. Oh, I get to fire, I guess? I feel like the box art is cooler than the game, but uh, that's just me. Okay, Atari works great with this controller, no issues whatsoever. I, I kind of felt, felt that way going in, that all the old systems, this is going to be great for. Um, even Sega and Game Gear, I think it's going to work just fine. Aliens, USA. Now I'm not running this in a track mode. Just because, to, in order to configure the controller, you got to do that in emulation station. So just being a little lazy. So it said it found the controller, and there you go. Select still does enter your tokens for you. I never, I never knew that any of the guns in the movie were one kit, one one shot kills. And I think that once they, uh, bombs. I thought they came out of the eggs as the smaller aliens. Even though on main, you typically um, need to use the analog stick, it is allowing me to use the D-pad by default. And this game seems to be running just fine. I'm going through somebody's body. So we're trying Nintendo 64 default controls with the Buffalo remote. Wrong with this no card. Oh, there was. So make sure that your turbo button's off. Mine was on and uh, you want to hit the clear button to clear it up. So there you have it. I mean, this this seems to run fine. I can still jump, I can still break, I can still navigate, go left and right, no problem. I can still shoot my things. I'm just really bad at this game. But uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. This little controller could do a lot. I hope you liked this video. If you could please like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.